Gamal. So some of you may have heard uh, yesterday, June 6, 2021, uh, Sunday evening, there was a family in London, Ontario, Canada, going for a walk uh, when they were uh, mowed down, essentially, uh, and a man in a pickup truck who deliberately wanted to target Muslims. And this is what the police are saying uh, in their article in the articles that I've read. Um, that uh, a 20 year old man, Nathaniel, uh, uh, was actually looking for Muslims to target and ended up uh, killing this family here. Now, the reason I'm making this video is just to kind of point out the. Uh, I saw this one comment on social media and I just wanted to, to point out this, this uh, important point. Um, firstly, uh, to, to the family, inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raji'un. You know, from God, uh, to from God we come, and to God we will return. And um, we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, God Almighty, to have mercy uh, and, uh, and grant the family patience, and especially the surviving nine-year-old. So four members of the family were killed, uh, and then the the youngest uh, is in critical condition, I believe, uh, from from the hospital. Uh, again, there's still developments coming out, but uh, we do know that one of the names of the um, the woman who was killed of the family, which is Sister uh, Madiha Salman, who I believe had just had just completed a PhD, um, and um, yeah, it's very very unfortunate. Again, to to the point here. Again, I think it's really important for Muslims. Um, a you know, number one, um, to have no fear. You know, don't live in anxiety. Don't live in uh, stress. Don't live in uh, anger. Um, uh, we have to, obviously, um, there has to be some kind of accountability for this. And what I mean by accountability is that if you, if you look at how, uh, if this incident was committed by a Muslim, how would the Canadian government react? Well, we, we do know how the government would react and we do know how the media would react. Um, in fact, I can almost assure you that if this happened in, in New York city and it was a Muslim, uh, it would be on front page of CNN, okay? But now when we look to the CBC, um, we see Muslim family members targeted and fatal hit and run. Police say driver charged with murder, right? And I just the double standards, right? Is the double standards. You know, when, when, when Muslims commit a crime, then what happens is there, there's this extra fear component and, you know, laws are passed and, and there's, they start to hunt, quote unquote, hunt for all the quote unquote extremists, right? Um, and, and, and then unfortunate, it's really unfortunate, but, um, um, you know, the loss of any innocent life is unfortunate, obviously. But again, I just really want to point out here that, um, I think that Muslims need to have a proper plan, you know, going forward. Um, when we saw the, the Quebec attack a, a number of years ago, um, that guy was never on the intelligence agency's watch list. Um, you know, you didn't see really this this enormous radicalization or de-radicalization campaign throughout the country. Yeah, the words were used here and there, and the Canadian government did outlaw the Proud Boys. We acknowledge that. But at the same time, uh, Muslims will always face uh, a different a different side, you know, a different level of discrimination. Uh, I think it's really, really important to point out. And and here's the thing is, uh, me as a Muslim, born and raised in Canada, as someone who really loves this country and wants good for this country. But not only that, I want good for all people and all, all citizens. That, you know, I don't think just because of my ethnicity or nationality that I'm better than anybody. In fact, you know, even as a Muslim, Islam says that, uh, you know, all innocent life is sacred, right? But my, I guess my point here is that I'm not looking for sympathy or empathy for, because I don't expect it from, you know, um, you know, uh, groups of people or institutions that have been, you know, doing things for a long time. And we even see what they've been doing to uh, the indigenous people, even their own people sometimes, right? If you look at South America, South America are made of pri primarily Christians, although Catholics. You know, how are they treated, right, by, by their own Christian brethren? So I'm not expecting much, but I think we as Muslims, we as Muslims need to remember our, our identity. Uh, I think one of the first things we can do, one of the first things we should do is first, you know, see the, if this family can get the help they need. I hope that this, uh, the, the, the young child, inshallah ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, hopefully he survives and that he uh, gets the proper care and need. 
and uh, perhaps is given to one of the close relatives, inshallah ta'ala, to the care of one of the close relatives. And we should all make dua for him or her, the, the youngest child, that they become a strong Muslim. Uh, they remember this, inshallah, and that they use this to, to you know, not just follow in the footsteps of their parents, which they see, mashallah, very successful, but also to serve the community, to 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 become either a scholar or a defender of Islam or to give da'wah. So that's number one is to make du'a. The second thing is we as Muslims, all, all of us, we need to understand our identity because here's the thing. They're not going to come after you, you know, you know yeah, maybe because you're visibly Muslim, right? But that we all know that doesn't mean much. We all know that, you know, whether it's, a, you know, just because someone's visibly Muslim. But what we need to do, inshallah, we need to build our identity. We need to understand our deen and education is at the heart of it. So first of all, education for ourselves right first and foremost and the second thing is um i would say uh, educating those around us so that includes muslims and non-muslims we need to be tools for education um those are the two things inshallah ta'ala, i will leave you with um you know when i say education don't just think that i mean just theory obviously that needs to translate into dawah relationship building you know open houses at the masjid um um, you know, there's a beautiful verse in the Quran, uh, Surah number five, ayah number 67. I encourage everyone to read that. Um, again, this, I, can't, I can't make this video too long, uh, but in short, I just want to say, you know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have protected all of, all of you and your families. Don't get scared. Don't, you know, make sure you have courage. And the, the, way, the way you're going to get that courage or the place you're going to get that courage from is from our deen, first and foremost. So... Please, um, you know, we shouldn't look to other people or other institutions or other entities for help or guidance. The first thing we should look to our deen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the sunnah of Rasulullah sallam. And then, of course, um, you know, uh, and of course, our, our ulama and our scholars and the local imams here. But then after that, of course, you know, we can build relationships. But remember the the tool or the, the primary source to help us the lens by which we see everything, inshallah, that is going to be our deen, inshallah. And there's nothing wrong with saying that because this is what Christians in Canada do. This is what Jews in Canada do. Everybody has their own identity. And so we should never let our identity erode. And I find that, you know, Muslims in Canada, and mashallah, we have a lot of strengths. Uh, but I think also we have some areas of improvements to work on, which is, you know, the identity building part, the the going back to going back to Islam. So please take this as a lesson uh, that that. You know, there's a lot of work to be done, and we can't just sit on the sidelines, okay? Because, um, you know, we can we consider this family to be our family, and we consider uh, any Muslim that suffers in the world to be part of our family. And in fact, I would even go further and say that any injustice that happens against a person, Muslim or non-Muslim, you know, we as Muslims have a say in that, right? We have an Islamic perspective. Uh, whether it's the injustice against the indigenous people, um, African Americans, Anglo Saxon, whoever it is, uh, you know, we can speak up on matters. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. Um, I will try to leave you guys with some resources in the description if you guys want me to. And inshallah, hope all is well. Take care.